In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the creation of a simple non-parametric family. Specifically, I have some gutters placed on my house, and I would like to model some caps for the ends of these gutters. So I'll do this by creating a new family. The first step of creating a family is selecting a template. I want to think about the placement of this family to make sure that I select the right template. When I place this gutter cap, I want to be able to click on the face of where it's going to go and the endpoint to locate the cap. So therefore, I'm going to create a generic model that is face based. I'll go to File, then New, then Family. I'll select the English Imperial folder. Then I will scroll down to the generic models and I want to select a generic model face based. Then I'll click Open. I open in the reference level and I can see that a face has been created to represent the face that I would be placing this on. Here in the create tab I'm going to select an extrusion. Then I will use some sketching tools to create this shape. I want to make sure that the origin is going to be the upper left corner of my gutter. So I'm going to come out here five inches from there. Then looks like I'm going to go down four and a half inches from there. Then to the left two, up three quarters. I've got a curve to create here, but I'm actually going to back up to the original point here and draw in a couple of more lines. Then I can use my arc tool. And then I'll select the arc and add in the specific radius of 4 and 15 30 seconds of an inch. Then I will select finish to finish my extrusion. I'm going to switch to the 3D view and you can see that the extrusion was created but it is actually much too thick. So I'm going to go ahead and select the extrusion and set its extrusion end to a quarter of an inch. That will give me a quarter inch thick cap. I'm going to switch to the shaded view here so we can see how this looks and you can see it's just the default material. Next I'm going to adjust the material of this extrusion to match the gutters. I'll select the extrusion then select the by category button here next to material and I have a lot of different materials I can search through. I'm going to make this a little easier and search for the name white. And the specific one that I want that is going to match the gutters is called plastic opaque white. So I'll go ahead and press the arrow here to copy it into the document and apply it to the extrusion. Then click OK. I can currently see that it still looks gray, so I'm going to go ahead and select it one more time and get back into the material. And this time here on the graphics tab, I'm going to choose to use the render appearance. That way it will shade and match closer to the plastic that it's going to eventually look like. As I think about the placement of this gutter cap here on this house with the gutters, it'll place just fine on this one. But when I go over to this side, it's going to be flipped the wrong way. So I want to add the ability to flip this family. I'll switch back to the reference level plan. Then on the create tab in the control section, I will select control. Then I will select double horizontal to mirror it horizontally. I'll simply click once to place my flip arrow, then press escape. Now I'm ready to save my family. So I'll simply go up and click save. I'll save this as a family and I will give it the name of gutter cap. Now I can switch back to my house and go to architecture and component, then load that particular family in. Then I can come in and click to place it on the face while snapping to 
the particular points. I'll switch to the east elevation to make this a little bit easier. And then once again I'll place my component and this time I'll go ahead and click to place it on this top corner then I'll go ahead and flip it into place. And here we can see in 3D that the gutter cap has been placed correctly on both gutters. Now I can repeat the placement on the opposite side of the house. So very simple family, just simply some extrusions and added in a flip option. That concludes this look at creating a simple non-parametric family in Autodesk Revit.